answer this question. I'm going to yeah. answer this one. This is about regarding the uh, UH men's basketball. It's, let's see. Saturday was their third of three consecutive weeks of official visits. Mm -hmm. And Saturday was John Clark. John Clark is from here. He has transferred to Link Academy in Missouri. Mm -hmm. John Clark, this past year, was a one of the top 10 finalists for the Guy V. Lewis Award, which I'm a part of. I'm on that committee, on the select committee. I'm the media PR person for that award. John is ranked top 60 in the country. Uh, six, eight, six, nine, big man. A lot of potential. Sometimes questionable motor, mm -hmm. which is not a great thing if you want to play for Kelvin Sampson, <laughs> because mm -hmm. if you don't have a high motor, if you need to be pushed to play hard, then chances are you won't play very much. Okay, but his visit went well. Last weekend, had big man Chris Sinek. Top 15 big man, top, top 15 player, <clears throat> big man. He was in for his visit. It went well. <clears throat> LSU is really more the favorite for him. And Willie, let me look, look at me when I say this, Willie. <clears throat> LSU is mm -hmm. more <clears throat> in, the, in, the, in the favor for him. Will Wade still the No, sorry. Oops. Uh, um, and then the first week of official visits, two weeks ago, Isaiah Harwell from Idaho was a top 10 player. Uh -huh. It's a wing. Idaho. Sh shooting guard. Mo that's more his, what, AAU program kind of thing, but you know. Okay. Fair enough. Um, was down to, is down to Houston and Gonzaga for him. <clears> hmm. <throat> Isaiah is expected to make his announcement this Thursday, the 12th. Yeah. It The Cougs are the favorite to land him. I'm hoping, I'm putting this out there in the universe, that if, assuming he does choose the Cougs, at some point <clears throat> between Thursday and whatever, I'm going to have him, going to talk to him, interview him. No. So whenever, like it could be Thursday, it could be Friday, Saturday, whatever, on, on him on his timetable. So if he chooses the Cougs, that'd be a top ten player. John Clark, like I said, just had his visit. I think it's down to the Cougs and the Aggies of Texas A and M. So uh, it's kind of fifty fifty. Mm -hmm. Then they have three more players. Top. Two more top 50 players. And the last one <clears throat> is a big man, kind of raw, lesser known. He's like 100, 105, something like that. You know, but still, six top 100 players considering making, well, hell, making official visits to the University of Houston, <clears throat> which is a, just a, a miracle of how far the program has come <laughs> in 10 years. So. Right. Yes, Trey, the point guard from San Antonio you, you're referring to is Kingston Flemings. And he's still slated to come in for a visit. It is really between Houston and Texas for him. Depending on who you ask, <clears throat> you get a different answer. Mm -hmm. Some folks say Houston is the favorite, clear-cut favorite for him. Some folks say the Longhorns are the favorite. So depending on who you ask, you get you get a different answer. Mm -hmm. Out of the six, like I said, I think they'll get one for sure. And I think it's going to be Isaiah Harwell. Of the six total, I think they could get two. See, he asked me if if I could only have two of the six, who would I take? Isaiah would be one of them. <clears throat> and the other one, oh, wow, I mean. It's a nice problem to have, <laughs> you know. So 
I could see probably <clears throat> I know the least about the last visit. Uh, Kareem Stagg is his name, big man. Mm -hmm. I don't know much about him. So because I don't know much about him, I'm not going to count him as my possible choice. So, to, so it's four left because I think Isaiah is going to commit barring some change. Mm. So out of the four remaining four, Chris Scenic, John Clark, Shelton Henderson, Kingston Flemings. Shelton is from Houston. Mm -hmm. His dream school, guess what his dream school is, Will? From Houston? He's from Houston. <clears throat> North Carolina. Right state. Duke. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. His dream school is Duke. He has ties. See, Jay Lucas is on the Duke staff now. He went to the same high school that Jay Lucas did. His AAU team is the John Lucas JL3 team. So there's a lot of Duke ties <laughs> with Shelton. That is not to say that the Cougs are dead to get him. Mm -hmm. But I, I go back to what I said. His dream school is Duke. So just keep that in mind, Cougs fans, hell, Duke fans. But his dream school is Duke. So I'm not, based on that information, I don't believe Shelton will pick the Cougs. So then you're getting down to Chris Scenic, John Clark, and Kingston Flemings. Like I said, I don't think Chris will pick Houston, as you saw what reason what I what I did. <laughs> That's that reason. <clears throat> NIL. And nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that at all. Mm -hmm. So no hate on me, no hate on him at all. Okay. So anybody take this clip out and say, oh, Chris Gardner is hating. Nope. No, Chris Gardner did not say that. So then I leave John Clark and Kingston Flemings. Heck, they might get both of them. But I'm gonna say. John Clark. So I'll get John Clark and Isaiah Harwell. Get two of those six. So we shall see. I wish them all the best of luck. Ironically, Shelton Henderson was a Gabby Lewis Award top 10 finalist last year. So we had two. Two of the six may are, are scheduled to make official visits to the Houston Cougars. And no Brother Gibson, no, Miss Wanda, no, CA thirty-seven. I have no sway in any of that. I have no sway and no decision, no pull whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And the kids picking Houston. Some folks have had that false impression that the Gabby Lewis committee is picking the winners of the award because they go to Houston. Yeah, you know me, man. I I, I, I don't play that. Okay, yeah. that's not my style. Right. Okay, this past year's winner is going to AM. and Okay. P.J. Haggerty went to TCU before transferring. And now he's going to, S to uh, Memphis. <clears throat> he, went, he went from TCU, didn't play. Played at Tulsa this past year. Played a lot. Was like the leading scorer in, in freshman in the country. He transferred to Memphis. Let's wrap it up with that.